Have you seen Book of Love? It's a really cute hidden gem. Here's my review of Book of Love. So the title's not good, but the film is cute. It was directed by Annaline Cal E. Mayor and written by her and David Quantic. It stars British actor Sam Claflin from Peaky Blinders and Spanish actress Veronica Ichigi. So Sam plays this square, uptight author named Henry Cooper. Mm -mm. Copper. <laughs> In the movie, they keep calling him Cooper because that rolls off the tongue. But his name is actually Henry Copper from London, who wrote a romance who wrote a romance novel that only sold two copies. Literally two copies. He bought it and one other person. <laughs> and he, um, because he believes that chastity is romantic and he thought it'd be a bestseller. Just as he's about to get dumped by his publisher, played by the hilarious Lucy Punch, she calls him in and tells him his book's a hit in Mexico. Someone named M.F. Rodriguez translated his novel from English to Spanish, and it's like as big as Fifty Shades of Grey in Mexico. So his publisher sends him off uh, to meet M.F. Rodriguez and his fans on a three-city tour in Mexico. He lands in Mexico, and to his surprise, M.F. Rodriguez, is actually, which he thought was a guy, is actually a single mom named Mar Maria Rodriguez, played by Veronica. Veronica translated his book, well... Actually, she rewrote his boring novel, making it a saucy, page-turning telenovela. She's an aspiring writer herself, but had to put aside her dream of ever becoming an author to raise her son. She's a single mom of an eight-year-old whose father is too busy with his music career, he's a, an aspiring musician, to bother and he wants to be in Maria's life more than his own son. So Henry goes on this three city tour with Maria to translate for him and the crowd again thinks this is like Fifty Shades of Grey. It's very saucy and to his surprise he had no idea that his entire book was changed um, but he eventually realizes that she made it a thousand times better. So eventually they fall in love and um, her son's father gets jealous and <laughs> that she's falling in love with this British author and he tries to win her back by any means necessary. There are some really funny scenes in this film. It's a cute 96 minute rom-com. Um, there were some really funny moments. There's a really um, funny sort of telenovela set piece uh, in the end, at the end that was really cute. Um, I totally recommend this movie. I think it was really funny. It was a fresh spin on a high concept idea. Now, I will say that in my opinion, the chemistry between Maria and Henry wasn't electrifying um, because again, he plays someone who uh, believes that chastity is sexy. So he's more of a square and she's a saucy Latina in this film. Um, and he, even in those intimate moments, it seems very icy. So I didn't think they had the best chemistry. I didn't think they had the best on on screen chemistry, especially when you're when you see these telenovelas that are really hot and juicy. It wasn't that, but it's still a really cute rom com. Another, just a minor issue I had um, was that uh, Henry doesn't. He has a cute scene with Maria's son, but it wasn't enough. It wasn't as realistic. It was a cute scene, but it wasn't what we would we want 
if we're uh, in a relationship with someone and we need them to have a, a, a relationship with our kids, um, that wasn't, it wasn't forced, but it wasn't necessarily natural. That was just a pet peeve. I think, I think Henry's character, I mean, Henry's character, I think Henry could have done a better, or I think they should have shown more of Henry and Maria's son interacting. They really just have two interactions, and I don't think that was necessarily realistic. But otherwise, really great film. Um, the score is nice. Of course, it's filmed in Mexico, and it is beautiful. It is currently streaming on Amazon Prime. I highly recommend this movie. It's such a great, again, quick 96-minute film. Thank you so much. If you stuck around this long, certainly appreciate you. Please consider liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing. And until next time, 